where we discuss emergency management, in particular to trauma, uh, it's a slightly different aspect because we're talking about the possibility of someone having been injured as a result of some sort of blunt force. Okay, as opposed to going on a scene and we're investigating, we might have some information that tells us that it's an accident or some weapon may have been used that caused the person some more severe injury. But when it comes to emergency management, we're going through the scene survey again. It's exactly the same. We're going to firstly check for history, right, where we are communicating with who exactly? Bystanders. Bystanders. Yeah. Yeah, person that's injured. Okay, and you're trying to get some level of understanding of what happened. And then hazards. So because first aid is obviously the most basic level of medical attention you can give someone, we like for officers who tend to be initial responders to be able to do the basic things to help preserve life. Uh, so if they are at an accident scene initially or some other scene involved in, involving injury, uh, they should be able to stabilize a person in a way that they can sustain life until EMS arrive, whether it's a head and spine injury or actually commencing CPR. Every two years we expect officers to recertify or, or otherwise if they feel like they need a refresher, we are open to that as well. Okay, ma'am, ma'am, are you okay? Are you okay? So we have an unresponsive casualty and we suspect head, spine, or back injury. All right, you're going in. The first thing you're going to do is stabilize the neck and head so that they don't, you know, cause themselves any more injury. Just keep still for me, okay? All right, keep uh, completely still. Sir, can you come in and help? Sure. All right, I want you to just come and put your hands just over mine, just as they are. You put your left hand over my left hand, your right hand over my right hand, and just maintain the head, just press your elbows on the ground, you can swing your body around. Okay, now that they're in this position, all right, your job is to maintain an airway, okay? So just gonna head tilt, chin lift. Okay, as we're here, we can see whether or not the person is breathing and the chest is rising, okay, they are just unconscious. So today is BFNAM's Breast Cancer Wall in partnership with Rita Cancer and Health. And once again, we prepared the pink car with um, this year's theme, Hey Breast Cancer, Let Me Tell You Something. Um, this began last year as a tribute to PC Gibson, who sadly lost her life to cancer a few years ago. And this is just to show people that police officers are human and we do go through things. And we just wanted to support this cause to bring awareness, to make people more aware of their health, and to just be our brother's keeper, our sister's keeper. So this year's theme for the walk is, hey, breast cancer, let me tell you something. And it's about just expressing how you feel. Like, do you feel sadness? Do you feel hopeless? Do you feel any type of pressure? Or are you relieved? Like, you know, it's to inspire you to be healthy, get your mammograms, just take a check of your health. You, everybody doesn't beat it, but some people can, and that's what this is all about, just bringing awareness and just getting us to take stock of our health. So today is the 23rd annual BFNM Breast Cancer Awareness Walk here at Bars Bay Park. Um, we're all in it to win it, but actually this year's theme is Hey, breast cancer, let me tell you something. And we're all here to say something to breast cancer. Well, we are excited because you guys are always involved in different community things, and we're glad that you have stepped up to support us and to support the community in bringing more breast cancer awareness, even the prostate cancer awareness for the men. You've thrown that in there on the car. So it's great to have the Bermuda Police Service behind us supporting the community. I'd like to welcome all males, whether it be juniors, seniors, grandfathers, uncles, to come at Work Academy Sunday the 10th of November, Sunday at 9 a.m. to participate in the Prostate Cancer Run, sponsored by AXA, supported also by the Butterfield and Bellis Company. It's to promote prostate cancer awareness in Bermuda, not just in Bermuda, but worldwide. Register www at racedayworld.com to register for the event and raise funds which will go towards the Equal Access Fund and the Radiation Therapy Center. Please come out and support this worthy cause.